In human athletes, the importance of sleep and rest is one of the most key factors. There's no point in training really hard if you don't rest, because it's during these rest periods that your body physically adapts. And I wonder with our equine athletes, whether we're not providing them with the optimal environment to get good quality rest. Horses, like humans, need sleep. But a horse only requires three to five hours a day of sleep and their sleep cycles are different than ours. They have different cycles, but they go from being awake to drowsy state to um, a slow way sleep and rapid eye movement sleep. And they can have multiple cycles throughout the day uh, with most of the sleep happening at night. Dr. Monica Ailman has published several studies looking at sleep deprivation in horses. Sleep deprivation is common and is often confused for a sleep disorder and people often call it narcolepsy and it's wrong. Sleep deprivation means what the title is saying, you are deprived of sleep. Horses may only spend 15% or approximately 30 minutes in REM sleep. But in order to achieve REM sleep, they must be laying down. If there's a painful limb, they have osteoarthritis, they may not lay down a lot to complete their sleep and therefore they're going to become sleep deprived. They can become sleep deprived also from, for example, if they are used to be with their friends in the barn and suddenly they are removed from their friends or the friends go away somewhere else. The horse may not feel comfortable and safe and then it's going to be sleep deprived or it has poor bedding, so the horse is not gonna lay down as often. It shows if horses travel a lot, some horses may adapt well to that change, but some horses may not adapt to that and may start becoming sleep deprived, especially if they do multiple shows and travel from one country to another. That can also affect their sleep. The horses are gonna look actually, some of them sleepy, and maybe you're gonna see episodes of kind of falling asleep, even collapse sometimes, especially when they're quiet. So if you watch the knees also, the knees and the, and the fetlocks, you may see some wounds, and that is an indication probably that that horse has been collapsing. Compromised or anxious horses may avoid placing themselves in a position where they would be particularly vulnerable to predation. For instance, staying vigilant when they see or hear wildlife. Sometimes people don't think about it, but wildlife, you know, we got one client actually that the horse was severely sleep deprived, and I always tell the owners before they come to us, if they can record at least for seven days, day and night, and have a little diary, and just write the events when they notice the horse is collapsing, what happened at that time. So in that case, we found that suddenly, looking at the video, we saw this big cat. And just going back to that area, it's like, wow, that's a cougar actually, just roaming the barn. And of course, all the horses were like afraid, and especially this one. Sleep deprivation can actually be a cause of poor performance. We usually think about poor performance, maybe the horse is lame, maybe there's some pain, maybe there's all the reasons, but we never think about sleep. And the sleep actually has an effect also on their performance. So like big athletes, they don't sleep enough, they're not gonna perform to the fullest. So what can an owner do to ensure their horse gets enough sleep? Try not to change too much the environment that they are familiar with. If they live with other horses, obviously they're going, they're going to be very adjusted to be with other horses. If you separate them, then that may disrupt their sleep. Uh, make sure it's not loud. Actually ideal to turn off the lights at night so they can actually sleep. Um, so anything that disrupts sound, noise, all of that, provide good bedding. If the horse has an, any kind of disease that may be painful, just be aware of that because pain is another cause of horses not laying down because it hurts. So make sure that your horse is as pain-free as possible. Just like you and me, we want a quiet place so that we can just have a nice, nice sleep.